Now there are certain models out there for brands that act as some sort of turning point for them to escape obscurity. For example, we've got this Cherry Tigo 8 Pro. I know you think that we've already reviewed this before, but guess what? This is the PHEV version, and I think it warrants its own review because it's just that special. What's going on guys, Roy Robles here from zigwheels.ph and today we welcome you to a new age of EV with the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro PHEV. Now on the surface, it definitely won't be blaming you if you think that we're reviewing the exact same car and calling this a PHEV. But one big difference this has over the regular Tiguan 8 Pro is this little trim right here that surrounds this large grille here. But it still has the same violet color. I call this Thanos Purple. It has this nice sparkle over it. It's really beautiful. I mean, all, all the lines are the same. It's a little bit wider for, and higher for some reason. You might want to check out our review of the Charity Go8 Pro right here uh, to give you more, a bit more idea of how this looks like. But again, with the PHEV version, what's really special with this is under the hood. So let's pop that right up. Quick side note, if you want to open up that hood, you got to apply a little bit more European flair to it. So you got to give it a little double tap. So the hood is assisted by these two strut bars on each end, giving you access to, well, this is just a huge plastic cover, but it gives it a little bit more cleaner look. What you need to do is that you need to flip up these lids if you want to access the battery, if you want to take a peek into the engine, the electric motor, and of course, fill up on some fluids. I really appreciate how this looks. In my opinion, this actually helps with a little bit more of that wind noise, especially when burning down the road, but I'd rather see what's under the hood, but I appreciate that Cherry gave it a little bit more effort. Plus, it gives you this really solid thunk when you close the lid. Solid. The most important upgrade probably is that sticker right there. Can't beat that. It says, coating exempted from RA11697. Yep, you can definitely bring this out when you're coating. No one's gonna stop you. So again, right here in the side profile, you'd notice that this is exactly the same as the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro, the standard version. But the biggest indicator, especially for you traffic guys out there, if you want to know that the driver is bringing a PHEV, is this one right here. You got this lid that contains the power outlet for, you to, for them to charge their Cherry Tigo 8 Pro. It actually uses a standard charger, still features the same 18-inch alloy wheels, which are two-tone, they're multi-spoke alloy wheels. And one thing that I really, uh, I'm really, i really quite iffy about is this huge chrome trim that surrounds the entire window on the side panel. But at least you got your 360-degree cameras, as well as a side repeater on the side mirror, so at least you got that. Overall, it is a clean, classic design for the Charity Go8 Pro, but uh, I want to know what you think, so drop me a comment in the comments section down below. Let's head out to the back. I gotta show you another difference of this one over the normal Chow Tigo 8 Pro. All right, so heading over to the rear of the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro PHEV, you'd find a little bit more differences between this and the regular Cherry Tigo 8 Pro. For example, right there at the bottom, you'd see your dual exhaust ports. Now, as I've explained in the previous Cherry Tigo 8 Pro, that those are actual exhaust ports, but in this case, those exhaust ports go nowhere. You got your exhaust port right there at the bottom. Now, for those of you wondering, it says right there, Cherry Tigo 8 Plus. The reason it says plus is that this has been, this is a pre-production model sent over from China. So there are a couple of things inside and out that has not been uh, localized just yet. That one is, of course, for example. Now, Cherry Philippines has to make a couple of little bit more concessions to make sure that the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid is, well, of course, affordable, and at the same time, make sure that those compromises aren't going to be such a big deal. For example, the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro loses the power tailgate feature, so if you want to open this up, it's not going to open up like so. You still have a lot of space for all your stuff inside, as you can see. We folded down the third row seat so that we can fit all our items inside right there. I'm not going to fit myself in the third row anymore because as you can see, I've already done that in the previous Cherry Tigo 8 Pro. You might want to check that out again. The link is in the description box below. But once you have all the third row seats down, you can see all the space for all your items. This is definitely enough for even a week's long trip for your family. So that's definitely very helpful. I mean, do you really miss power tailgate? 
Yeah, I actually miss, ha miss having power tailgate feature, but again, if they put that in the plug-in hybrid version, it might skyrocket the price of this thing right up. If you want to know the price, check that out later on. So let's check out the inside and see what's what. All right, so right now we are inside the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid. At first glance, you'd think that you're still driving the regular Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro, but nope, there are a lot of differences between this and that variant. First of all, you've got two 12.3 inch screens right here. You got one for the touchscreen and one for the digital gauge cluster. This is definitely an interesting take on the information that I'd like to see on the car. Also the seats and the leather inside, they're no longer brown, they're definitely black. They're still made of this high quality material, they're still perforated. You still have dual zone automatic climate control. All the controls for the air conditioning can be found right here on top of the shifter, which again, the shifter knob kind of reminds me of those alien spaceships in Independence Day. The capacitive buttons right here around the shifter is bathed in piano black. So you have to get your microfiber cloth with you at all times if you want to keep those things clean. Now the steering wheel is adjustable for both reach and brake. But if you ask me, the steering wheel is a bit on the uh, large side. Kind of looks like a truck steering wheel right here because of the diameter of the entire thing. It, at least it has a flat bottom, which again is odd because usually flat bottom steering wheels would be would have a smaller diameter than this one. Even with my stubby fingers right here, I really do wish it had a smaller profile. But right, so heading over to the 12.3 touchscreen infotainment system right here, you actually see a lot of apps. Usually in phones, I call these bloatware because you got three pages of apps spread across uh, this, this screen right here. For example, the hybrid power app gives you information about your battery and your two electric motors and exactly how much charge your battery has and what happens during your drive. You even have this power management setting where you can actually see the battery retention setting. Now, if you set this to automatic mode, you can actually trust the car into knowing what charge it maintains on the battery. Initial mode is of course the factory settings that it's gonna be in. It does have Apple CarPlay and I am thankful that it does have it. Fortunately, it does not have Android Auto. Now, I've been trying to use the Baidu Car Life app, but for some reason it keeps uh, crashing on me. And once, sometimes I was able to mirror my phone into it, but then the entire thing crashes. I'm thinking that this is because this is a pre-production model. Probably my phone is outdated. I need to update the uh, software on it. But again, it's not very intuitive. It's not very uh, as useful as Android Auto. I wish this does have Android Auto but that's what we get. You got this huge panoramic sunroof that reaches all the way to the back. And thankfully, that panoramic sunroof is of the solid kind. By the way, the speakers here are Sony branded. There are about eight speakers inside this car. So everything inside is clean as it should be. I'm not gonna check out the rear anymore because it's still the same as the previous one that we reviewed. The only difference is that they're decked in black instead of brown. So let's take it out for a spin. So we're now behind the wheel of the Terry Tigo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. And right off the bat, the acceleration is just instantaneous, just like that, because of those two electric motors mated to that 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. So it's just awesome. The power is just overwhelming. Again, the numbers under the hood, you've got max power, 320 horsepower, and 540 newton meters of torque. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. So we set this off to sport mode, and we're using all the power behind the wheel. And <laughs> you gotta try this out if you wanna believe it. It's definitely next gen stuff. I was able to get around, let's say, more or less under six seconds, over five seconds a little bit. To zero, from zero to 100. This is just too much power. Too much power, in fact, for the uh, stock suspension and the brakes. Suspension-wise, you got your standard McPherson struts up front and a multi-link independent suspension in the rear. NVH levels is, is fine, actually. 
And it's great because especially when you're in EV mode, you can barely hear the outside world permeating through the uh, inside cabin. Cherry is marketing this as a luxury SUV. And I might not go that far, but it's definitely more luxurious than most other seven-seater SUVs out there. So how does this perform fuel economy-wise? Well, here's the thing. A few months back, we actually drove this very vehicle uh, from Subic all the way to Mount Samat. And throughout the entire duration of the way, we used mainly, well, only electric power. Traveling almost 100 kilometers in just electric power alone that's just nothing short of amazing. You can definitely use this Terry T28 Pro plug-in hybrid throughout the entire week, well, theoretically, again, without using a drop of fuel. Now, if you want to use the fuel, of course, if you use the hybrid electric mode, Cherry claims that you can actually reach above 60, 70 kilometers per liter on this one. And personally, that is not very difficult for me to believe because testing this out throughout the entire week, I was able to gauge exactly how this works out. And I'd like to report that it does work as advertised. So once you're up to speed like this, it actually utilizes both the uh, engine, the internal combustion engine and the electric motor. But once you're at a standstill, you're in stop and go traffic, it prioritizes the use of the electric motor. So you get to save a lot of gas in the process and still enjoy your drive. Now, out on the highway, when we tested this out, that's when things get really fun. I mean, we were able to get 30 to 40 kilometers per liter on the highway, on this baby, this bad boy. I mean, are you kidding me? Now we get to the uh, not so good parts. I mean, yes, you do get a hybrid engine uh, under the hood, but the thing is for the price. This thing is priced to start at 2.5 million pesos. Now, given that, the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro, though, loses on a lot of the features that we found in the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro that we reviewed prior. Because that one had some major advanced driving assist systems that we only see in, in more expensive vehicles. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that this still has the, the standard six airbags, got electronic brake force distribution, it even has downhill control. Uh, where you're going down in a hill, you can actually control the brakes automatically. It has traction control. But knowing the uh, previous Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro has those advanced safety features, I'm kind of missing out on that. I wish that they didn't take away all those advanced driving assist uh, system features because I feel like if, it, if this particular variant had all that, oh yeah, the price would have, been, would have increased significantly but at least you know that you're getting the complete package but one thing that i do commend cherry philippines though is their extensive warranty program so you got five years for, for the uh for the drive during the engine and 10 years extended warranty bumper to bumper and that's definitely commendable now you got to ask yourself what other cars are there that can compare to the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro. Those things are way up in price as compared to what you're getting right here. The Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid is definitely a winner for me. And again, there's a reason why it's sold out and you can't get one. So that's our review of the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Now, before I give you my final thoughts, here are three things that I don't like about it and three things that I absolutely love. So the first thing I don't like about the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro is a couple of things on the inside that might have been localized a bit. I mean, there are a couple of menu items that are still in its native language and the lack of Android Auto is just a travesty. Well, at least you've got Apple CarPlay, but again, why give Apple all the fun when a lot of people are Android users? Like, like just myself. The third thing I don't like about the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid is a couple of the uh, concessions or compromises that they gave this in order to keep the price down. Sure, I appreciate that Cherry Philippines was able to put the price down as much as I can, but I really miss the power tailgate feature. I miss the cooled seats and everything else that's inside of that that was available in the vanilla Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro. I wish it had that, but I'm sure that the price won't be as affordable as it is. The last thing I don't like about the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro 
are the brakes in the transmission. I mean, the brakes are awesome, don't get me wrong. The brakes are, can have really great stopping power, but they might be chewed a little bit too much for stop and go traffic. I kind of blame it on the transmission, the DHT or the uh, special hybrid transmission that they put in, in right here doesn't really match well with all the power and torque that the engine gives out. So maybe a, a little bit more time behind the wheel of this one will make you used to how it works. But right now, if you're not used to how it works, it's gonna look like you're new to driving. And that's how I felt like when I'm driving this one around. Now we got all that out of the way, here are three things that I absolutely love about the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Plug-in Hybrid. The first thing I love about this is the power. I mean, come on, 320 horsepower, 540 newton meters of torque from a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine mated to two electric motors. I gotta say, that's just flagship specs. I would really do wish though that the uh, suspension and the brakes also had flagship specs, but on a straight line, a little bit over five seconds from zero to 100 is nothing to sneeze about. I mean, if you want the cheapest way to get power, this is the road to it. The second thing I love about a Cherry Tigre Pro is of course the fuel economy. I know it's a hybrid. Hybrids usually have great fuel economy, but as a plug-in hybrid, you can actually use full EV, full gasoline, or both of them at the same time. And the thing is, we were able to get as much as, get this guys, 30, even 35 kilometers per liter on this one. And Cherry actually raced this around 60 kilometers per liter, but in the city, you can get around 50 to 20 kilometers per liter, even on stop and go traffic. And that is just insane. The fuel efficiency that you get from this is legit and you gotta try it out. This is definitely next level stuff. So the third thing I love about the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro is of course the way it looks. I mean, I've read a couple of things, I've seen a couple of reviews, but and a couple of them are, it's pretty much a mixed bag. I must be on the team that absolutely loves the understated design of this SUV right here. It actually looks like an SUV and not like a spaceship. And I appreciate that coming from the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid. And that's all she wrote about the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, for you guys who haven't subscribed yet, drop us a comment in the comment section down below and tell us how you think about our videos. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon so you can join in on the Zig Wheels crew and don't miss any of our videos. This is Roy Robles from zigwheels.ph. I'll see you guys next time.